we're going to draw the Lewis structure for ozone. And here's how we do it. First thing, we have O3. Let's put three oxygen atoms in a row. So we need to count the valence electrons up. Oxygen, group 16, used to be called 6A, has six valence electrons. But remember, we have three oxygens. So six times three is 18. So we have a total of 18 of these valence electrons here for our ozone Lewis structure. So first off, we're gonna place pairs of electrons between the atoms. That's gonna form our chemical bond there. We've used four. Then we're gonna do the outside atoms, complete their octets like this. Right now we've used 16 valence electrons for our ozone Lewis structure, but we have 18. So we have two more to use here. So we're gonna add our last two right here. And you can immediately see the problem. We have an octet here and here, but only six here. What we can do is we can take and form a double bond. We're gonna move these right here. This oxygen has eight, this oxygen has eight, this oxygen has eight. That's the Lewis structure for ozone. You could have moved this one here and left this a single bond. That would be correct as well. Two important things to note. The molecular geometry, it looks linear here, but this lone pair is pushing things down. So we end up with a bent molecular geometry. And the other thing, we said you could have the double bond here or here. In reality, it's this hybrid, kind of an average of those two. That's the dotted lines to show you a one and a half bond on each one of these. If you want to learn more about the molecular geometry or resonance, jump over to the next videos. And thanks for watching.